Thank you for saying yes to serving the Lord by helping at Mass. Your role is extremely important, so thank you for serving. You might not be aware of it, but you help everyone who comes to Mass have a prayerful experience. The way you pray and pay attention during the Mass inspires others to pray and pay attention. The Mass consists of two distinct parts, or liturgies. In the Liturgy of the Word, we experience the Lord speaking to us in the sacred readings from the Bible. And in the Liturgy of the Eucharist, we encounter Him in the holy sacrifice of His body and blood under the forms of bread and wine. There are two other main ways that we come into contact with Jesus at Mass, the priest and the people. Together, we offer this form of worship, which has been handed down to us from the apostles and the early church through, with, and in Jesus himself. In other words, Jesus leads us by the power of the Holy Spirit in a prayer of thanks and praise to the Father, just as Jesus on the cross offers himself completely to the Father, we also learn from him how to offer ourselves to God. There is much more to say about this, but for now, just understand that what you do to help everyone else pray is extremely important. When you serve at Mass, be aware of some basic requirements. Number one, be prepared. That means in your mind and heart. If possible, review the readings for that Sunday so that you have a good idea of what the Bible says that day. Start praying before you even get to church. Number two, dress appropriately. Be sure you're properly dressed in a respectful way. Even though the cassock and surplus you wear at Mass will cover your regular clothes, People will notice how you're dressed before and after Mass, and we want to show people that we have the highest respect for the Mass. Number three, slow down. People are usually in a big hurry all the time, but when we come to church, everything we do should be calm and prayerful, which includes how we speak and move around. Other people in church may be praying in between Masses, and we don't want to distract them. Number four, stay focused. You may be tempted to visit and joke around with the other servers while you're waiting for Mass to begin. When you're serving, though, we need to stay focused on being prayerful. So do your best to keep quiet in the sacristy, and if you do need to speak, Please do in a soft voice. Number five, be a leader. The server is also a leader in prayer. Your responses like, and with your spirit, and amen, need to be strong, clear, and loud enough for others to hear you. The stronger and more confident your response, the more you encourage the rest of the people to do the same. Leading by example. Number six, know your postures. When you stand or walk and are not carrying anything, fold your hands in front of your heart in either the traditional way, as seen here, or in this modified way. During the Mass, you will be bowing sometimes to the altar and sometimes to the priest. There are two ways to bow. If you are carrying something, perform a simple bow, which is basically a nod of the head, like this. If you are not carrying something, perform a profound bow, which is from the waist. The more consistently we do these things, the more people will notice and be inspired by the care and attention we give to worship. Number seven, be on time. Arrive at least 15 minutes early. Showing up late or just before Mass starts creates problems for the priests and the others 
because we need to know how many servers we have. It's your responsibility to know your schedule and to honor your commitments. This is a part of what being a server is all about. Now let's get started. When you arrive, go to the server changing room, which is behind the altar, next to the sacristy, where the priest will be preparing for mass. Be sure to sign in so we know that you have arrived. Next, find your correct size for your server cassock, the black garment, and surplus, the white covering. Check the black garment's size by putting it on, and without bowing your head or bending over, determine if the cassock comes to the top of your shoes. If it doesn't reach, then it's a little short, and if it actually covers the shoes, then it's too long. Check the size number and be sure that the white surplus has the same number as the cassock. It's better and safer if you can't find an exact fit to wear one that's just a little bit shorter than it should be instead of longer. This will help prevent tripping. If there are only two servers, one server will pick up the cross from its stand. The other server will not carry anything, but will walk behind the server with the cross and walk down the aisle to the vestibule, the entrance of the church. Position yourselves as seen here. Allowing room for people still coming into the church to get by you. Once you hear the greeter welcome everyone to the celebration of the Mass, move into position to start the procession. Do not begin walking down the aisle yet, but wait for the priest to let you know when to start the procession. When you walk, do so in a relaxed pace. We don't ever want to appear like we're in a hurry during Mass. When you arrive in front of the altar, perform a simple bow with the head only and walk towards the right, as seen here. and the cross to its base, and then go and stand in front of your chair. If there are three servers, one server will pick up the cross from its stand and walk past the Eucharistic chapel and wait for the other two servers to get the processional candles located on both sides of the ambo. They will meet up with the cross and walk down the aisle to the vestibule, the entrance of the church. Position yourselves as seen here, allowing room for people still coming into the church to get by you. The server who is taking care of the Roman Missal, the priest's prayer book, picks it up and walks back up the ramp, standing as shown near the top of the ramp. Normally, you bring the Missal to him during the singing of the Gloria. When we get to the line, for, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. But sometimes a priest may need it a little sooner than that. Just keep an eye on him. He will let you know if he needs the book sooner. There is no need to bow when bringing the missal to the priest. After the collect, the opening prayer, return down the ramp and place the missal back on the server's table. During the readings, keep your posture straight and your hands either folded on your lap 
or resting on your thighs. Make sure not to let them hang loose at your sides. During the gospel, since the candles are already in the sanctuary, you will not need to carry them in procession. So simply stand at your place with your hands folded in prayer over your heart. After the universal prayers, general intercessions, when everyone else sits down, the servers prepare the altar for the liturgy of the Eucharist. One server brings a Roman Missal to the altar and removes the stand. Another server brings up the tray with the chalice, pall, purificators, and additional cups to the altar as seen here. Once the altar is prepared, the priest will walk down the steps to receive the gifts of bread and wine. One server goes with him, while the other two bring the bowl and towel and stand to the right of the altar. The priest will prepare his chalice and the other communion cups. by adding a drop of water and saying the prayers of blessing, and he will hand the water pitcher to the server. Remain standing by the altar. After the priest blesses the wine, he will bow and turn to the servers, who pour water over his hands. Then present the towel to him. He dries his hands, gives back the towel. The servers and priests bow to each other, and the servers walk back down the ramp. Place their materials in the sacristy and server table. And then stand in front of their chairs. After the singing of the Sanctus, the Holy Holy, the servers kneel. The server closest to the altar rings the bells in the following manner. When the priest extends his hands, palms down over the bread and wine, ring the bells once like this. When the priest lifts up the bread, which is now the body of Christ, ring three times. Ring three times again, when he lifts up the precious blood in the chalice. Once the bells are silent, gently set them down. During the communion rite, extend the sign of peace to your fellow servers and then to the priest. He may come over to you or he may wait for you at the altar. Once you give the sign of peace to the priest, bring the tray with the empty ciboria, the metal bowls for communion, to the left side of the altar. After the priest removes the ciboria, lift the tray, bow, and return down the ramp as seen here. Once the extraordinary ministers begin receiving communion, 
the servers all walk over to the fr front of the altar and wait for the priests. Receive Holy Communion from him or an extraordinary minister. Or return to your place and kneel down in prayer. Remain there for now. When it looks like about half of the people have received communion, one server removes the chalice and large metal bowl from the altar and places them in the sacristy. The other server removes the Roman Missal, brings it back to the server's table, and then brings the empty tray back to the altar, bows, and then returns and kneels. After the priest returns to the altar and hands the ciboria to the sacristan, one server goes up the ramp and removes the tray with the ciboria and sets the tray on the server's table. Once the priest returns to his chair, the servers kneel down, except for the one who is taking care of the missal. Bring it from the server's table, back up the ramp, and wait there for the priest to stand. When he says, let us pray, bring him the book. The other servers will stand. When he is finished with the prayer, Place the book back on the server's table and stand by your chair. When the priest gives the final blessing, pick up the cross. Assemble in front of the altar as shown here. When the priest bows, you nod your heads, turn and walk down the aisle at the same speed you entered. When you get to the baptismal font, stand together to the left and wait for the priest. He will give you a blessing and then dismiss you. When the priest gives the final blessing, pick up the cross and candles. Assemble in front of the altar as shown here. When the priest bows, you nod your heads, turn and walk down the aisle at the same speed you entered. When you get to the baptismal font, stand together to the left and wait for the priest. He will give you a blessing and then dismiss you. Be sure that when you return your garments to the server's closet, that you place both the white and black garments neatly on the hanger. Do not toss them on the ground. This wrinkles them and makes them unusable for the next Mass. Thank you for being willing to make this commitment of time and service to the parish. <laughs>